Welcome to Chewing the Cud with Mike Benyon Rowe and Lee Robertson. I say it's only really funny if you make a loud noise and someone's got a hangover. Oh, hello. Welcome to Chewing the Cud. What have you got for us this week, Lee? Well, I have some information on a newly appointed national treasure, mm -hmm. and um, I've got some more waxwork news, because I do like a bit of waxwork news, and then we'll have some crafty queens. Great, the waxwork fetish is back. And we even have a game that you can join in with too. But on screen now you can see our social media info. Just search for at the Cud TV. And as the names of people who have commented on our social media scroll along the bottom of the screen, it's time to go over to Mike and the Buzz. Chocolate. Mm -hmm. You're a fan. I, I have been known. <laughs> You've been known to microwave a bar or two. Yeah. Yes. And eat it with a spoon. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Lift the bowl. Yes. <laughs> um, dark milk or white? Milk. Okay. Not white though. If there's nothing else. <laughs> it's like it'll do in a pinch. It will do in a pinch. I am partial to a uh, little um, white chocolate with crunchy bits and raspberry. The little one? Yeah. Okay. I don't know whether it's little or old. No, it's, li it's little. You don't mean Lint or Lindor? No, it's the little brand. Oh, okay. Yeah. Nice to know. Well, basically, this story is about who's been tricking the internet. Tricking the internet. Tricking the internet with chocolate. With chocolate. With chocolate, which is quite naughty. Um, so have you seen it online where they've worked out some maths where if you cut a chocolate bar a certain way through a piece, you can actually get a piece of chocolate out and reassemble the bar? No. You've not seen it? No. No. Okay, I would have thought you'd seen that. I just eat the chocolate. I don't fanny around with it. <laughs> okay. Billy said f with it then, but that, that's something different. <laughs> because you do that, yeah. <laughs> it's not just loop. Um, well, it's basically, the, the maths was that if you cut a certain angle out of a certain piece, you could get a piece of chocolate out and no one could tell the difference. Right? But he's been found to be a liar and a cheat as the video shows him moving a, an extra piece of chocolate into camera shot. Who gives a shit? <laughs> what do you mean, what, who gives a shit? Who gives a shit? Because <laughs> he was proposing that you get free chocolate or a way of, of making it so that chocolate doesn't look like you've eaten any. But you've already bought the chocolate and taken it home. Unless you're taking on somebody else's chocolate. You don't do that in the shop. No, <laughs> but if someone else has got a bar of chocolate at home and you want to do a snaffle a piece. I don't, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I, I wouldn't leave it. <laughs> I would eat all of it. And destroy the wrapper again. And what part the, of chocolate? Yeah, I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> that has happened. <laughs> and, and gone, I don't know, I think you must be mistaken. <laughs> you stole the chocolate off somebody? Yeah, quite a few times. <laughs> and gone, mm, you know, whatever. If somebody's already opened... <laughs> If somebody's already opened a bar of chocolate, uh -huh. how do they know how much they've eaten? <laughs> Just break a bit off it. Eat it. <laughs> you walk around going, well, you didn't eat it at the same all at once. It's your own fault. Who's to, who, did you go to the shop and buy that bar of chocolate? <laughs> I didn't see it on the side. Better so go get yourself off there and get yourself another one. I'll eat that one too. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Mm hmm <laughs> so this is just moot points. <laughs> this is you going, what? Chopping it up and see if I can get some more. Who cares? <laughs> just eat it. Especially if it's not yours. Yes. Left alive and well in the Robinson household. Yep. yep. <laughs> don't even, you don't I don't even room. care. I'm not yeah. even sorry. You're not. Not in the remote. A little bit proud, in fact. Uh, yeah. <laughs> okay. Um, well, I shall move on then from your, your, your larceny. 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 It's a nice word. Um, washing your clothes. How often do you wash your clothes? Um, well, it just depends on the activity that's that's been occurring within them. <laughs> 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 so if I've shot my load off in a pair of pants, straight in the wash. Straight, yeah, pretty much. Pretty much. Pretty down. much so, yeah. <laughs> um, underpants, they change them daily. They may not get washed. They may be in the basket. So they go into the laundry in the cycle basket. after one wear? Yes. Okay. Yeah. Work, shirts and trousers, pretty much just depends. Sometimes I can get a whole week out of them. A little bit of a breeze tss, tss, around the nice. crotch area. Um, the crotch and, area of your shirts. And they're good to go. <laughs> um, so, yeah. Okay. Well, this is jeans. 
Okay. Right. Um, this is the CEO of Levi's. Okay. Who said that people shouldn't wash their jeans at all, ever. 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 Because it does more damage than good. What, to the jeans? To the jeans, yeah. Um, so what he's actually said is that the way that, that, that dye and the things work, so as you're wearing jeans, you get those natural creases, mm. those natural rubs off. Mm. Yeah? When you wash them, they act... Natural the, rubs off? The natural rubs, yeah. Okay. <laughs> you know, if, you, if you're walking along, you get yeah. certain areas that will... But what rub. if you shit yourself, Mike? What if you shit yourself he's, in your he's jeans? Said if you need to do a spot clean, a toothbrush a is good. A spot clean? A spot clean. What if you fill your <laughs> pants with a massive hot load? <laughs> That's not a toothbrush isn't going to get that out, is it? Fire is what is needed. No, <laughs> a bin bag you... or a green plastic bag you can put them in. What if you fell over in, in a big muddy pile? Yeah, he said that, so there are times when you can wash them, but he says try and avoid washing them where you can because the natural rub on the, the material wears away the dye. On if you, you know, it adds to the character of the jeans. Whereas yeah. if you wash them, the dye lifts and then resets. Do you know, back in the 80s, um, my mum used to iron my jeans with a crease. Sit on the front. <laughs> there's nothing There's you, nothing that says, beat me up, <laughs> than a pair of creased were jeans. Were you bullied a lot as a child? Yeah. They, um, it was always special pulling on a nice pair of jeans with a firm <laughs> crease <laughs> yeah. down the front. It's nice. My grand used to iron underpants. Did she? Yeah, everything was ironed within an inch of its life. Wow. Um, you know, I think if your jeans need washing, wash them. Yeah. The CEO of Levi. Or don't, he's not that pretty. Is he not? No. Is he trying to sell us something else? No, he's just saying this is what they recommend. Well, look, we'd imagine back in the cowboy time, because that's what jeans were made for. Cowboy times. Cowboy times. <laughs> cowboy times. Um, like, um, <laughs> cow wranglers, which are cowboys. <laughs> or cow people, nowadays. Um... I don't know where I'm going with this story. <laughs> no, um, it's a train of thought that's that's gone away from you. Well, then they that beneficial. You would wouldn't want to keep washing them because mm -hmm. because because you're just doing stuff in them all day long, aren't you? Nowadays, <laughs> not so much. <laughs> doing stuff in them all day long. You know, like cowboy stuff, <laughs> like wrangling <laughs> cows and and I'd and riding not be horses. Able to quit all the all the cowboys. Mm, yeah. Spit it on your cock. <laughs> Stick it in another cowboy's ass. And um, if you want to stick your inside out, you know what you can do. Share it with us at The Could TV. And that brings us nicely to our story of the week. Now, have you ever been banned from doing something in public? No. No, you haven't been caught, have you? I've never done anything that needs to be banned. OK. Mm. Just stealing other people's chocolate. That's um, indoors. That's indoors. Mm. <laughs> you don't steal outside, outside chocolate, mm. that would be illegal. Um, this is a gentleman um, called Mr. Hunt, okay, who has been he's smirking already. <laughs> um, who has been basically banned from wearing his favourite attire out of the house in Somerset. What do you think his favourite attire is? It's probably something like assless chaps and a gimp mask or something like that. Not quite. Full gimp suit. Full gimp suit. Full gimp suit. I wasn't far off, was um, I? So there he is. Oof. In his gimp suit, um, he is. It looks like a young. It looks like a young. Phil uh, Mitchell. <laughs> yeah, it looks like a, whatever Kemp. What's he called? Russell Kemp. No. Russ Kemp. Russ Kemp. It looks Russ like Kemp. a young Russ Kemp. Yeah. Maybe he's going into one of the world's deadliest prisons. Possibly. That's why he needs a gimp suit. Well, of a gimp suit. Not much of a protection in a prison. A gimp suit. Well, listen, unless she's unzipped the right zipper, then it's completely sealed, isn't it? Wiped clean. There's no evidence. Um, but yeah, he's a gardener. And was, um, shall we say, by taking in his, his leisurely strolls around the neighbourhood in his gimp suit. And has been told to cease and desist. There's a lot of thought happening right there now. There is a lot of thought because, right. He, I mean, technically, mm -hmm. there is no law that says you can't wear a gimp suit. There is no law that says you can't. Because it's completely covered. Yeah. Disturbing. Yes. <laughs> is his cock out? I don't know. Not in that picture. Um, not in that picture. Um, would I be disturbed if I was out walking at night and I saw that? Yes. I would cross over the road. Um, what, to meet him? <laughs> to, to be out of his way. Oh, okay. um, but is, should he not be allowed to wear it? I don't really know whether that's, a, you know. You know, unless he's walking around. Rubbing himself. Up yeah. And and that kind of stuff. Being lurid. Ooh, lurid. 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 Um, it's this bit at the bottom. 
crawling, wriggling, or writhing on the ground. Yeah. That's not just walking around. If that's just going for a walk in your gimp suit, that's pretending you're a, pretending you're a caterpillar <laughs> or something. Maybe he was dancing. Maybe he was listening to some banging beats on his headphones yeah. and, and started to do the worm. Yeah. Because um, we can't see if he's got headphones on. I, me thinks he's getting off on it. I think he's getting off on it too. Because, mm. yeah, he's in a gimp suit. So he's not allowed to wear it anymore? Not allowed to wear it in public anymore. No. I've been told to stop. Well, fair enough. So, yeah. But that's all from the buzz this week. Thank you for that. Um, that story was actually about Mike, not the person he said it was. Don't wear a gimp suit. I do walk around with my cock out. Um, but coming up after this is Lee and the showbiz. You're watching Chewing the Cud with Mike and the man who doesn't know what French toast is. But before we get into that, it's Lee in the showbiz. Choosing not to enable that discussion. Enable that? You put jam on in bread on your toaster. I'm not, I'm not, so cutting into my showbiz time. <laughs> so... First bit of showbiz news. Is it wax work? No, I'm oh. saving that for the last <laughs> oh, great. bit. So, so Danny Beard <laughs> yep. has, been, has been proclaimed the new national treasure after appearing on Lorraine and questioning where she was. So, <laughs> so Danny Beard w was, obviously, he won the last season of, one of the seasons Drag of Race Drag UK. Race. Was it the last one or the one before that? No, it was the last one because he's doing the extra show. Yeah, so we run the last one, which is four. We're on five now. No, because he was in the same one as Thingy, wasn't he? No, so we had the Vivian, Lawrence Cheney. Mm -hmm. Yeah, okay, yeah. I got confused with the yeah. Vivian. Yeah. Okay, so he was on um, Lorraine mm -hmm. um, being interviewed about Drag Race, um, and this was kind of like in half term. Um, and um, so, first of all, he didn't know what show he was on. So he was on with Christine Lampard, and he was kind of like saying, uh, he said something about, he wanted to talk, he said, oh, am I allowed to swear on, on this morning? And she went, no, and um, we're on Lorraine. Um, <clears throat> and um, so that, that, there he is, uh, chatting to Christine Lampard. And then he went, Lorraine, where is she? And there was this sort of conversation. So basically, everybody has, there's this elephant in the room that, Lorraine has it written in her contract mm. ever since she started doing this that all the school holidays she has oh. off. Yep. Um, her child is now in her 30s. Uh -huh. So it doesn't really need to have the she half terms waiting, off. She might be waiting for grandchildren. Mm. He, said, he, said, um, he said, she's off. She's off again. Um, <laughs> and he added, I mean, her kids aren't even in school no more. Um, <laughs> <laughs> daughter's like 29 um, it's, it's, <laughs> and obviously the, the presenter couldn't comment so she went mm, it's confusing isn't it um, <laughs> um, uh, before before bursting out laughing uh, and, and Danny B was, was joking well that's me never being allowed back on the show um, but yeah <laughs> which one he, <laughs> which one he basically has, has said what everybody else has been thinking for, for decades why is she off on half term school holidays when her child's in her 40s You've just added ten years on. I've just added ten years. She's, she's got. She's she's got a good deal there. Yeah. Mm. What I love is the fact that she, um, she's not Lorraine. She's the character Lorraine when she's well, on yes. TV as a tax. The, yes. I think that's brilliant. Well, if you can get away with, well, she's clearly getting away. She's getting away with it. It's been yeah. to court, and she's like, no, it's a character. It's I not am me. I am character in she real life. To have the same name. I'm an absolute. <laughs> That's what she says. Well, she doesn't say that. That's what I'm saying. Anyway, <laughs> I just I thought that was an amusing little tidbit. Mm -hmm. um, I, mean, I would put National Treasure on there. I, I perhaps wouldn't. Either. I'd put you know, funny, witty, witty, witty comment. Witty in the moment. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Um, next bit of news. Mm -hmm. Madge, she's touring at the moment. Yes. Um, I actually genuinely have a bit of FOMO of this because I thought it was going to be crap. I thought it was going to be somebody wheeling around on stage in a Zimmer frame mm -hmm. and like potting her at various parts. And, and But it genuinely is a very good show from the clips that I've seen. Mm -hmm. um, and Elton John, who isn't a massive Madonna fan in the past, he's been yeah, quite yeah. openly critical about her. He, he's kind of put, gone to social media to post a heartfelt celebration about the section in the tour where she pays tributes to AIDS victims. Yes. Um, so... 
in in the show, there is a part where she sings um, Live to Tell. Mm -hmm. And um, what happens is that these huge screens come down in the, the, the arena and photographs of people that she knew, who she was close to, who died of AIDS, are projected onto them. Okay. So... Um, and the, the gentleman in the, the the photograph there is one of her dancers from the um, sort of Vogue era mm -hmm. tour, where um, I think he, he was diagnosed shortly after the tour. Um, so Elton John has kind of like gone, do you know what? Give her a oh, credit. Keith Haring. Yeah. She knew him. Uh, Madonna knew him. Um, he's basically kind of like saying, do you know what? Kudos to you, because you didn't have to do that. Um, but... We're really, so, in conjunction with, with his AIDS organisation, mm -hmm. um, they've kind of like posted this and said, deeply moved by the heartfelt tribute from Madonna during the celebration tour, Live to Tell, honouring the 40.4 million people we've lost to AIDS. Thank you, Madonna. Um, and kind of just gives her a little bit of a, of a big up, which doesn't normally do. Normally it's like saying, she lip syncs, she's crap, what's she doing? Um, so, yeah, yeah, nice. Nice thoughts. Yeah. 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 Uh, I mean... Part of me would like to go to that concert, but also I don't want to remortgage my house. Just... Well, that's it. I need both of my kidneys. Do you, though? Well... I don't think that much. I mean, I'd like to keep them. Oh, okay. um, and also, I don't want to pay, like, the equivalent of a package holiday to go and sit on the roof of somewhere and look at, 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 at her through a screen. So, mm, Yeah. I feel that it would be only fair of her to, uh, one, give me a free ticket mm -hmm. um, to any destination of my choice, <laughs> or put it on the cinema and we can pay. Yeah, yeah. I think that might happen. Do you think? I think towards the end of the tour, she may do a, a cinema version. Well, not like, I don't want to see Taylor Swift. I don't want to see Beyonce doing their thing on the cinema. I want to see a match, because this is going to be the last one, I feel, the last tour. Well, she said that about the last one, didn't she? Um, I think we might be seeing like share, the last one. Share and the farewell tours. <laughs> yeah, but it's not share anymore, is it? It's an Android. It's a, an animatronic share <laughs> that they just share. they just push on. <laughs> um, anyway, last bit of showbiz news, bit of waxwork news because we like a bit of like waxwork news, don't we? I think you have a fetish. Yeah, um, Dwayne Johnson um, is oh. not particularly happy with the waxwork that has been created of him in France. Oh, no. So. Um, he is widely th th this is this is so that isn't a waxwork. That is the actual man. Um, He's a handsome man. Dwayne Johnson. Um the Musée Gravon in um in France, um specializing in wax figures of famous people, recently revealed its attempt to its likeness of him, uh, with the statue's skin tone is noticeably lighter oh dear. than Johnson's, causing someone some to accuse them of whitewashing. Literally. Uh, literally. We've we've got a picture of it here. Yeah. Mm. I mean, it looks, like, Frank it looks Lampard. like him. No, it looks like Frank Lampard. Do you think? I think it looks... Am I thinking of Frank think, Lampard? Yeah, Frank Lampard's a racing car driver, isn't he? Do I think, is that who I'm thinking of? It doesn't look like The Rock, really. People have said that it looks like his face is creepily Botox smooth. Uh -huh. They've made him look like Mr Clean, which is um, like an advert bloke that sells polish. Um, so Dwayne Johnson has kind of posted on Instagram from the record, I'm going to have to have my team reach out to our friends at Grevin Museum in Paris, France, so we can work on updating my waxwork with some important details, starting with my skin colour. Mm -hmm. And next time I'm in Paris, I'll stop by and have a drink with myself. Um, yeah. Yeah. It, I don't know what's happened. I don't know whether they've not put a bit of pigment in that they were supposed to put in? I think they're being a little bit racist. Do you think that. so? Yeah. I think there might be some accidental racism there. Accidental racism. It, or, I don't or, think it's a bad likeness. I, there's, definitely, there's definitely something off about it other than the skin tone. Yeah, yeah. Um, so I would imagine they're probably doing a little poop in their pants thinking that The Rock is going to come across and smack them. I didn't mean Frank Lampard. Who did you mean, Mike? I don't know. The footballer kind of person. Ronaldo? No. I don't know sports. I know. But there's a, a, um. a bald, slightly hench kind of sports Do you person. know what he looks like? He looks like a, a young Ross Kemp. 
really yeah. doesn't. He doesn't at all. He really doesn't. No. <laughs> Just because he's bald. <laughs> I mean, I think they've got the arms well. They do. I mean, there, there is a. There, it looks like the rock has been um, bleached, bleached, <laughs> and had a lot of Botox. Um, I, they've, but they've not done like the eyebrow thing that he does. No. I, you know, if they're giving him a bit of the, the eyebrowy thing. Yeah, I'm assuming these are not. The stars do not sit for these. These are these are unofficial <laughs> waxworks <laughs> done from a photo stat. Yeah, do, yeah, <laughs> done done from somebody's got. Yeah, somebody's got a, somebody's got like a couple of magazines and gone. No, that'll be right. Let's stick that. Someone out. saw him running through an airport late for a train one. Yeah, yeah. So it'll be interesting to see because these are the ones that did the Ed Sheeran, that look not like Ed Sheeran. So they're just not very good at work. I don't think they are. I may visit. I just say. It's I feel. I feel a visit on the cards. I think we should do it. I wish you were queer from from Paris and and go and see it. Oh, okay. I think that should happen. Are you paying? I'm on the flying. The flying. The flying. I'm on the flying. The flying. <laughs> <laughs> that was a mixture of flying and plane. Okay, okay. the plane. Train. <laughs> yeah. The train. The plane. Train. I don't want to go on the train, I want to go on the plane because it's faster. Well, it's, no, it's not. It's, just, it's not that much faster by the time you've checked in and stuff. I just enjoy being on a plane. Oh, not a fly, a plane. plane on a plane. <laughs> a plane on a plane. Yeah. Plane. Go, ah, I'm on a plane. On a plane. Yeah. That's all from the showbiz news this week. Thanks for that, Lee. Always good to get on a plane wherever you're going. Um, but coming up, we've got a quiz for him in our Game of the Week. You're watching Chew in the Cud, and this week we're going to play Lazy Susan's Question Roulette. It's been re regenerated as well. And this one is for the man who was asked to leave a ship when he misunderstood what a poop deck was. So if you pop, Lee. Game of the Week. So Lee's going to spin the, the newly revamped Lazy Susan and ask a question. Uh, what's, what, what have you done to that? Just had a, she's just had a little bit of freshening up. A little bit of sparkle. Okay. Just a little bit of, of, of jigging, new questions, that kind of stuff. We all new need questions. that every now and again. Oh, so what, so the what? choice is this time, we've got music, we've got movies, we've got sport, and we've got yeah. general knowledge. So I shall spin the Lazy Susan. Woo! So we've got rid of the, um, from that too. Yes, that did not make it through. Game. That gem is not in the middle. It doesn't really matter. It's mind. slightly off centre. Um, so, me. so we've got movies. Movies. That looks like movies. it's two there. Do, do, do. Bear with. Um. <laughs> we revamped the questions. We don't know what they look like. General yet. knowledge. That's general knowledge. That's film. Film, there we go. It's the same thing as a movie. Um, <clears throat> So, I have got um, characters from films. You've got to tell me what film they're from. Okay. So, Dr. Evil. That's from Austin Powers. It is. I mean, this is E.T. Huh? I think that's a trick question. E.T. is from E.T. It, it, it is indeed. That, came, that was out the year the day uh, I was born. Lloyd Dobler. Lloyd Dobler was the evil villain from No Idea. Um, I, uh, from apparently Say Anything. I don't know that one. Oh. Carrie White, again. Carrie. Carrie, yes. Uh, Frank Booth. Booth. Mm -hmm. Frank. I, no. No, I don't guess. Blue Velvet. Blue Velvet. And finally, Tommy DeVito. Tommy DeVito. Tony DeVito. No, Tommy. Tommy DeVito. Tommy DeVito. Twins. No. Uh, Goodfellas. Okay. Okay. I thought it was a pizza. Let's spin. <laughs> I think I'm. Oh, it's. Music. It. I think. I think I must have oiled it with my special oil. You've um, bumped on it, haven't you? <laughs> okay. <laughs> Complete oh, <no. laughs> the band or singer's name. Okay. So number one, Fly. No. McFly. Sly and the family. Gorgeous. No. 
Munchkins. Fly in the family. Munchkins. No. Disco. Sly in the family. Disco. No. Sly in the family stone we're looking for. Oh, okay. The Spencer Davis. Experience. <laughs> no. It is group. The Steve Miller. One arm bandit. No. I think you're not trying, are you? This is Steve Miller band. Strawberry Alarm. Chocolate teapot. I've never heard of this. Strawberry Alarm Clock. Okay. I've never heard of them. I've never heard of any of these. The Swinging Blue. Bollocks. <laughs> the gallery got it right. Jeans. Okay. And finally, Spandau. <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing? Much is true. <laughs> that was a little, little, um, little clue for you. Um, Spandau. He's doing it on purpose. Carlin. He knows full well what it is. I don't know what it is. Spandau Ballet. Oh yeah. Goodness me! I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna give it a full-on spin this time because I think dental. it's. It's a dental. Oh. Oh, 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 oh. General knowledge. <laughs> Quite a cyst there from general knowledge. General knowledge. <clears throat> okay, what year was the Falklands War? 1987. It was 1982. Okay. Um, do you want more general knowledge questions? Yeah, yeah that's Okay. Sure. Uh, who was the British Prime Minister at the time of the Falklands War? Bitch face. Yes. We would accept. <laughs> or milk stealer. Or destroyer homophobe. of the human race. Oh, we'll go with Margaret Thatcher. R rampant homophobe. Yes. Um, how many countries are there in the Commonwealth? Oh, no, it depends when this, this quiz was written, but I'm going to say 52. Well, the answer here is not far off, but I've got 54. Quite, a, mm. quite an old one, then. Which English city would have been the new capital if Adolf Hitler's invasion plans had been successful? Blackpool. Do you know what? You're not far off. Well, you're wrong. But, <laughs> um, <laughs> You're wrong. You're wrong. Well. He actually had a thing for Blackpool. He did. He actually liked Blackpool. He, he, yeah. To the point he didn't want it bombed. I know. How bizarre. He, um, he might have done millions and millions of pounds worth of improvement if he had. Uh, Oxford was going to be the uh, capital of, of England. Um, what was Belize called until 1973? An island in the sea. British Honduras. Oh, British Honduras. Okay. Mm. And finally, name the British landing beaches on D Day. Hugh, Drew, Barney, McGrew, Cuthbert, Dibble, and Grub. Sword and Gold. Sword. And gold. Sword. Sword. I don't ever remember being taught that in school. Do you remember being taught anything in school? Complete the boxers' names. Okay, boxers. Tyson. Cat. Cat? They have names, don't they? Like the, the Undertaker and. The... No, it's just the name. Tyson. Fury. Even okay. I would know that. Okay. Fury. Fury. Tyson Fury. Why is he making me say it? Because he's woken up. Number two, Reuben Hurricane. Heel. No, Carter. Okay. See, this one's got Hurricane as his middle name. Evander, the real deal. From Iceland. What? From Iceland. Hollyfield. Okay. I would have known that one. Now you, you, you surely would get this. Iron Mike. 
the clown? Oh, you stupid boy. I and Mike Tyson. Oh. Marvelous Marvin. Mushrooms. <laughs> Hagler. Oh, mine at least had alliteration there. Okay. Last one, Hector. Macho. I wouldn't know this one Peace. either. Camacho. Macho piece. Yeah. No, no, no. I don't think you've got any questions right today, have you? I have. Have you? Which one? Uh, no. <laughs> oh, movies. Movies. Okay. That's general knowledge. Okay. <clears throat> Name the oh, another name the film that these characters appear in. Rose DeWitt Booketer. Titanic. Yes. Jake Gitz. <laughs> or Git Giddies. Gettys. Gettys. Giddies. No idea. Chinatown. Atticus Finch. Famous book. Kill a Mockingbird. Yes! Charles Foster Kane. One flew over a cuckoo's nest. Charles Foster... Um, it was Citizen Kane. Oh, OK. Annie Hall. Annie, get your gun. Annie Hall. Um, and finally, Ellen Ripley. Um, the marvellous Mr Ripley. Stay away from her, you bitch. She's got a little mouth. Comes out of a big mouth. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. no. Don't bite um, me. With your little mouth. Oh, well, stick around, because um, coming after this is Lee and, well, Crafty Queens. Welcome back to Chewing the Cud. Now get ready to be, well, disappointed, slightly perplexed, and wonder why the hell you're bothering. It's Crafty Queens. Well, this week we're going to continue with a autumnal theme. Okay. Um, because do you know what, Mike? It's very nearly Thanksgiving. Mm -hmm. um, we're going to make something turkey related. Making um, a turkey sandwich. We're not making a turkey sandwich. We're making we're making a turkey glitter char. Because that's nearly the same thing <clears throat> as a turkey sandwich. Um, so before you on the table, you have a you have a jar, mm -hmm. and a lid, and you've got some faux autumn leaves, yep. and you've got a tiny little pumpkin and you've got a little turkey yeah so what you're going to do first is select one of your leaves and um if you get your lid of your your container mm -hmm. turn it upside down okay and then you're going to glue the leaf mm -hmm. to the inside of the lid okay now i have i have i have oh I have provided you with <coughs> a little addition. With a consumption. Um, <laughs> yes. Um, <laughs> you glued your, glued your, your leaf. Yeah. Yep. Now, you've got a little turkey. Uh-huh. I don't know why that's funny. Um, I have laminated it because it's going to be immersed in water. Okay. So, but you've got a little flap at the bottom. Mm, I little do. Black have flap. A little black flap. Yeah. Oh, hello. Um, what I, I, what <laughs> Hello, sir. Can what I would like you to do, to... with your scissors, very carefully, along the where the line, the flap meets the turkey's body, yep. just score it because you're going to fold it back on itself. Yeah, okay, I folded it. Yeah. Yeah. And then you're going to put a little bit of glue on the bottom bit that's away from you. And that's going to, you're going to stick that, glue that right in the middle. And just kind like, of press it down so it might, so it stands up a little bit straight. Okay. Oh 
marvellous. Now, I've also provided oh, you with a strong word with a little tiny, teeny pumpkin. You have, yeah. Now that, because the lid is going to be over the top, you need to make sure that it's it doesn't overlap mm -hmm. the edges of the lid. A little bit of glue, and then just pop that. Would you like a turkey fact, Mike? No. Nope. Well, I'm going to give you one. Cause, cause, what you proposition me? Um, <laughs> right, so did you know, Mike, that both male and female turkeys gobble? Mm, yeah. The male... So do I. ...makes a difference. So they, also <laughs> they also make different noises, so they can purr. They're strange. Purr, purr. And they also make yelps and kikis. They kiki? Kiki. But both male and female turkeys gobble. Um, just just set aside your uh, little diorama for a second, your turkey okay. diorama. And um, <laughs> if you take your little glass jar yep. and one of your faux leaves. Uh huh. And your pair of scissors, you're going to chop that leaf into tiny little bits inside the jar. Okay. Like confetti. Is this because you didn't, didn't get give me glitter? I didn't want glitter. It's not a glitter jar, then, is it? Well, it's kind. It's of a kind. It's a um, like a snow globe, but it's not snow. Okay. And like an, aut an autumnal leaf globe. globe. Like another turkey fact, Mike. Nope. <laughs> well, I'm going to oh. give you one. <laughs> Did you know that turkey meat contains an essential amino acid? Turkey meat. That is called tritoplan. And um, <laughs> tritoplan, tri, 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 tritoplan, tritoplan, which helps with sleep quality and planning and boosts <laughs> serotonin levels. I do like serotonin levels. So, you know, if, you, if you're struggling with your sleep, turkey sandwich, gobble on a turkey. And uh, I always find if I'm, I'm struggling to sleep, a quick gobble helps me. Yes, indeed. That's why people often feel very sleepy after Christmas dinner of turkey. Because um, it contains that amino acid that makes Dipping. you feel a little bit tired. Shoveling copious amounts of food into their gaping maw. Gaping maw. I love that food. I know you do. We use it all the time. What you're going to do now is um, you're going to pour some water into the jar. Now, you're not going to fill it completely to the top. Okay. You know where the rim is? Oh, what a rim is. A little rim there. Do you like a little rim? Pour some, pour, pour some, just ordinary tap water. It's like little autumn leaves dancing around. <clears throat> oh, are you still cutting up? Um, well, you told me I had to cut some more up. So you don't have to. I didn't, I didn't say you had to. Right, so how far up am I going? Just to the rim, just What's underneath the rim. Let me see how far up you've gone. Can you see? Or to the lip, to the, to the... You call it a lip, I call it a rim. Okay. Okay. Now, you also need to keep, so to keep it moving in the right direction. A bit laxative. You, you've got a little tube of, of glycerin. I do indeed have glycerin. Pour a little, just a little bit of a squirt of it in. Not a huge amount. Kind of like a teaspoon or tablespoonful. Okay. Okay. Right, so what you're going to do now is you're going to put glue all around the edge of the, the lid. That's going to secure it. Okay. Don't burn yourself though, because it's very hot. This is going to create a seal. And we might like a kiss from a rose on a grave kind of yeah. seal, or a seal as in a or 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 a seal as just like to stop the water pouring out. And we might have to be quite quick because you don't want the um, 
glue to, to just, so once you put your thing, you're gonna put the lid on upside down, press it on, and while it's drying, I've, I've got I've got another I've got another turkey tip, Mike. This is a very exciting one. Did you know that turkeys can change colour? Well, not all of them, but their heads can change colour. They can go red, they can go blue, and they can go white. Do you think they're minka? I can be brown, <laughs> I can be blue, I can be violet sky. I can it be all up. depends on how excited that turkey is. So the more intense the colour the more emotional the turkey is. Just thought I'd share that because that's very important. Sorry, I wasn't listening to you, what? Should you meet a turkey and it's got a bright red head? <laughs> give it a lick. Probably feeling very emotional. You might want to give it a hug. Never right, so. I'll hug a turkey. I've this is... wrapped them in bacon, but I've never hugged one. I like a turkey twizzler. Now what we're going to do is, this is, the, this is the tricky bit here now, Mike. We're going to turn it upside down. <laughs> take the lid off. <laughs> <laughs> so hopefully the glue has, has, has adhered and we will be able to make a autumnal turkey floaty thing. Right, so I'm going to turn it over. <gasps> it's worked. Now you might have to shake it a bit to mix the glycerine together. Like a baby. Oh, that has worked proper. You do yours now. Oh my god. Oh. Happy, happy turkey day. Happy, happy turkey day. Happy, happy turkey day. Remember, if you can't get any peen or any vagine, be a crafty queen. Quite happy with that. Are you? If you were, if you, if you mean you've been to America, haven't you? Do you think they would appreciate one of those on their, on their dining table? No. No. Eat me. Da, 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 da. Do you not remember that song? <laughs> Stop propositioning me, please. <laughs> From the Adams family. Adams family values, where they went, to, they sent the kids to the um, summer camp, and then they recreated the. The, I want to say Last Supper, but it wasn't the um, the, the 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 supper with the turkeys. Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving. <clears throat> yeah, and 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 the fat kid dressed up as a turkey, and he was going, "Eat me!" Da, 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 da. No. Happy Happy Turkey Day. No. Okay. That's almost the end of the show for this week. But just remember to join us on our social media at the Cud TV. Thank you for watching. I again apologise for Crafty Queens, and we'll see you soon. Bye. Never apologise. Always apologise after that, but I've created little, little things that come to at you.